We just finished a study looking at continuing education on forest landscape restoration, that is, courses that are not part of university curricula. We did this in conjunction with UFRO, the International Union of Forest Research Organizations, and we found that even though there are many, many online course, courses that look at FLR, forest landscape restoration, there are many gaps in their contents. The main one is really embracing the FLR concept and teaching about how to incorporate what are sometimes conflicting land uses and generate a multifunctional landscape. Another issue we found is that these online courses are pretty much a one-time event and there's little continuity with very few exceptions. That means that the course is offered but there's no record that someone can go back and look at what was covered. And another important finding is that uh, the level of participation of civil society was very low. It was mostly aimed at mid-career professionals, early career professionals, working in extension at universities or in government organizations. But civil society at large, uh, that is in the context of the public, uh, we did not find too much uh, material or at least courses aimed at that sector. And, uh, citizen science is becoming more of a more important issue nowadays. One key recommendation is when you design an online course, it's to uh, try to offer successive editions, not a one-time uh, event. Of course, that depends on funding. Uh, maybe there's not enough funding to keep doing this for five, ten years, but as long as you at least archive the contents and the reports of the course also helps others to design future editions. In many cases we did not find even records of what was covered. We just found a list of topics and who the target audience was. Another key recommendation is to uh, give these uh, a progressive approach. In other words, most of the courses that we uh, looked at uh, cover many topics, uh, but they were basic topics. And it would be good to design a system in which you have a course in which you teach the basics, but then successive editions go more and more specialized and more and more specified, if you will. That's exactly why we partner with UFRO to look at the gaps in order to write a proposal or a series of proposals to uh, design what we think is perhaps uh, an optimal way of implementing forest landscape restoration. Many of the courses are teaching the basics as I mentioned, but not too many and probably none are really teaching the implementation component, which is what we're largely missing. Many countries pledged hectares to be restored. Uh, we know pretty much about the gaps that need to be, be overcome in terms of policy, uh, institutional issues, governance, even you know curricular aspects, but then putting it on the ground, uh, it's it's the major next step. So we want to fill that gap. Hence the uh, nature of the assessment that we just carried out.